This is the third of my intro videos to Blues Piano. If you've moved, missed videos one and two, check out the episode index on bluespiano.tv. Here's the address where all of these things are indexed. Um, so you can get a sense of where we're coming from and where we're going. Okay, in the last couple of videos, we have learnt uh, two important things. First of all, we've learnt the structure of 12 bar blues. Okay, how it's based on whatever key it's in, three chords. We've learnt that not all blues are 12 bars, but the 12 bar form really dominates the genre. Genre, I mean. I can't pronounce my French properly now. Anyway, so... Uh, we've also learnt a, a really useful simple left hand pattern and a really difficult exercise to practice it. Okay, as I've said before, if you're struggling with any of the technical concepts I'm using, um, key signatures, chords, stuff like that, check out the episode index at bluespiano.tv and there's uh, links there to uh, useful stuff that will teach you it. Obviously, if you've had a few years of piano lessons or you know a little bit about playing piano already, none of this, I hope, should be a problem. Okay, so doing this all day long is kind of cool and uh, perhaps a little bit annoying for anyone else to share your house with you. Um, but, you know, we, we want to move on to uh, play cool improvised patterns in the right hand, because that's what blues is all about, improvising. we have to understand something called the blues scale. Okay, so what does a blues scale look like and sound like and how does it work? The best way to understand it is to compare it to a basic major scale. This is a scale of C. Okay, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It has eight notes. A blues scale, or the blues scale we're going to use, has ten notes. Blue scale of C. C, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A, B flat, and back to C. Okay? That's not the only type of blue scale. Some people, guitarists particularly, would say that a blues scale only includes those notes. That's because um, those are the notes you get if you use a blues box, which is a common way of, of playing a blues scale on guitar. But in fact, if you're playing piano blues, you can use all those notes in the blues scale to create your improvisations. An easy way to think about it is all of the notes, black and white, between the two Cs, apart from the D flat, the A flat and the B. A okay, little bit of Star Trek there. Okay, so all of the notes between there and there, except D flat, A flat, and B. Okay, if you are a little bit uh, familiar with musical terminology, you can also think of it as, um, in in technical terms, as the tonic, second, minor third, major third, fourth, flat fifth, fifth, sixth minor seventh and back to the tonic okay um you sometimes hear i i did i vary between them there you sometimes hear people talking about minor fifths uh, and flat fifths or diminished fifths flat fifths it, 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 it's all the same it means take it down a half a step or a semitone or whatever you call it okay so that is a blue scale and using that blue scale as we'll see in the next video you can create all kinds of it interesting improvisations Okay. If you're not sure about the basics of um, things like scales and chords, check out the Piano World Scored and bleh, Piano World Chord and Scale tool. The address is here. And also remember, on the episode index of BluesPiano.tv, there is a, a set of little links to resources for basic music theory. Okay. In the next video, we'll go on to look at how you use that blues scale 
to um, create improvisations in the right hand. Okay, it's worth now getting your head around how blue scales work in a variety of different keys. So take a different key like F major and try and work out the blues scale. It looks like that. Okay. Right, so there we go. Any questions or comments, stick them in the bluespiano.tv thread where this video is posted. Here's the address. Or um, drop them into the YouTube uh, channel um, where, uh, you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pick them up there as well. Either way, I will get back to you. I will reply to you. Okay, see you in the next video.